So yesterday, I thought it was going to be my last Guild War videos, but I was wrong. The developer just gave us something very very interesting. They gave us this video. But before that, we are going to read the text that they sent to us. The developers say that the 5 tier system are going to be replaced with the 20 tier. Getting to 20 tier will take the same amount of effort as going with the 5 tier, there is just extra rewards. This means that maybe it will take around the same amount of point to get to 20 tier as it used to be to get to 5 tier. The reward screen is now the guild altar shop for the grand prize rewards, which we will get to see later. The developers will be looking to add a few more tasks to the guild wars, so you will have the chance to get even more points than before. You will have 7 days to switch guilds from this Friday until June the 2nd, when the war officially begins. Now I'm just going to show you the video that they sent to us. Okay, I'm just gonna show you some things right here. The video may be fast, so I took a few screenshots just for you guys. First, we have the progress menu. On the first guild war, the progress menu looks like this, and this is the new ones. But there's one important detail that you have to see. You see those guild crystal down there? Yeah, I screenshotted the video so I can count how many crystal we will get. But you have to keep in mind about it later because I'm going to show you something else first. This is how the market will look. We have Moxara X. Here you can see all of the stuff you can get from the shop. Now I'm going to show you what I counted. Total obtainable guild gems is 2605, and you can see the total price of all of the items here and the total cost to buy all of it is just 1085 guild gems now you might be wondering that is way too much excessive guild gems i think the developers will probably make the dragon x cost even more just to balance it so people just don't keep buying the dragons and i'm not sure because on the previous guild war we can use the guild gems to buy accessories and buildables you should absolutely subscribe because tell me, which other YouTuber will give you this much effort digging evidence and counting the numbers just so you don't have to. So subscribe! And here we have the hatch chances for the Guild Wars egg. Here we will get Lepidon and Geothrix. Now there's one details that I want you to keep in mind about. On the sentence from the developer note, I'm going to read one more time just so you can pay attention, okay? Reward screen is now the guild altar shop for the grand prize rewards. We're also putting dragon in egg and quite possibly will do this for seasons going forward too. I think this means that the season dragons will come in the form of eggs. So maybe you can trade season dragon eggs. I don't know, maybe Fader eggs but also possibly what they mean by doing this in seasons maybe we can buy fate reiki again but that is not confirmed that is not confirmed don't take my words for it we don't know about it yet but for sure what i think it is the season's dragon we, we get from the mission will probably in the form of egg i will definitely get a moixora egg it's something i can collect because sometimes i just collect eggs for fun usually the cheaper ones and i think that is all for today please subscribe comment down below which dragon you will definitely get Will you get another Moixara, or perhaps you will get Concello, or maybe you want the old dragons like Geatrix and Lapalon? Well, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you again next time.